Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. That is going to be this playthrough. So this is, of course, the GameCube edition of Paper Mario. Now, my audio might be very loud, so I gotta really hope it isn't. Oh, no. Okay. It's good. Uh, of course, for the video, it won't matter because I'll have the uh, audio levels adjusted, but for me, it does matter if it's loud or not. So I've never played this Paper Mario game, but I think I've played actually all of them except this one. I played Sticker Star, that was my first one. And before then, I wasn't really a big fan of Paper Mario. I thought the concept was kind of stupid, so I just sort of ignored it. But then I got bored one day, bought Sticker Star, and was amazed at how good it was. Do they, did they really expect kids to read this text this quick? Well, maybe kids were smarter back then. Anyway, uh... It's very well to come to a violent end, and in but a single night. Maybe it's not quick enough. The town sank into the depths of the earth. Okay, so anyway, um, then I played the one on the Wii and thought that was complete garbage, and then I played the one on the Nintendo 64, and that one was really good. So this one I've heard is the best out of all of them, so we'll find out. Supposedly it's going to be pretty long. Now about when this time came out, I think Superstar Saga also came out about then. And I am in, still in love with Superstar Saga. It's still my favorite game in history. And uh, that, so far, that title has never been dethroned for my favorite ever game. But I heard this one's a close second, so we'll see. But it probably has to do with what you played in your childhood, because people who played Ocarina of Time really feel that same way, even though I don't. Now I think this is just the opening scenes of the game. And that was the opening scene. That was a lot longer than I expected it to be. Music's pretty good so far, though. Okay, so I am playing this on the GameCube, and I'm upscaling it to 1080p um, in editing. And this may or may not look bad once it hits YouTube. I'm trying new settings, settings, settings that hopefully make it look better, but recording the GameCube, I'm, I'm, I'm actually recording it off of the Wii, and recording the Wii for me is one of the most painful experience I have ever had in my entire life, so uh, we'll see what happens, it should be fine. Looks like it's starting at the beginning of, uh, oh, of course it's Luigi. It's like Superstar Saga started the same way, out in the front yard of their house, and 
then you have to play as Toad to go on in. I remember playing this game like at Walmart and Target. Uh, they'd have all those game demo stations, and I remember playing part of this. There was a boss that I fought, but it only lasted for like five minutes and it reset back to the beginning. What the heck was that flash? Looked like a big cannon came up on the screen and then this. Okay then. So are we playing Wind Waker now? I guess we're on a boat because uh, it's a big ocean. I didn't know I was playing Wind Waker, but I had a completely different opening for that because I hate that game. It's a cool sun though. More curtains, okay. So, prologue. A rogue's welcome. <laughs> the coin flipped to Mario to Peach to Bowser, that was kinda cool. All right, excuse me, sir. I have no idea what that flashing is about. That's really weird. I bought this disc from some secondhand guy on uh, eBay, and I think it was eBay. I don't know, it's got some scratches on it, so there might be a few issues. <laughs> Maybe more than a few issues. Okay, then. I don't know what that was about. So I can actually jump in the water. And there's chain chops in the water. That is cool. Why not piranhas and I lost the health? Why not uh, cheap cheeps? That's weird. Okay, so this... This is gonna bother me. It bothered me in the other Paper Marios, but it's like, it's just kind of weird. Okay, so bob bombs are not uh, enemies. That's cool. Hit that save block. You never know when you're gonna kick the old bucket. Alright. Back when games had save blocks, now it's all automatic and every 10 steps it saves. Is that that egg guy from Sonic? Well, let's go save her then. Hey, doggy. That dog's walking up next to me, so if you hear any weird noises, it's probably her. Don't call me chump. Crump a bomb. Adjust my microphone. <clears throat> 
And just like that, we're thrown into our first battle. Okay. Can't flee this fight. Good to know. Jump on him and hit him with the hammer. Alrighty. So I think... Was that correctly done? It's hard to tell in these older games if... When you push A right before them, if it's... Well done or not, because... Oh, okay, that was how I'm supposed to do it. Oh, and I can dodge him. Okay, cool. So, this just seems like a GameCube edition of uh, Superstar Saga, which is definitely not a bad thing. Although I played Super Mario RPG, and no matter what I did, I could not dodge anything for the life of me in that game. And there was one part near the end where there are these uh, fog things that would do the migraine move and it would bring you down to one hit point if you didn't dodge it. Yeah, that was hard. But that was still a good game. What? Being overrun by Obama Snows. I just wanted to meet the princess. Oh, I guess Obama Snows aren't very smart. Sure, let's go. Well, it seems to kick you right into the action a little bit quicker than uh, Superstar Saga. I don't even know why I'm really comparing the two, but I probably will be the whole time. <laughs> I'm not allowed to cheat, uh, cheat on Peach there, Mr. Goomba, Mrs. Goomba. Oh, Goombella. Great hoogly boogly if it isn't Master Mario. Hey, Toadsworth! Are those Delfino agents? In the background? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay then. It's just really convenient that his ship needed fuel at the same port I was supposed to meet Peach at. Probably part of somebody's master plan. Huff, I say. Huff.
A primer, press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. Goom Mother the Goomba. Goomther. Oh, Goomther the Goomba. Ooh, title will be useful. Definitely needed that in the first Paper Mario. Well useful to know how much HP the bosses had. <laughs> Mad scientist Goomba. Weird thing about having the HP and all that show though is uh... It w kinda wastes a turn, so it seems to be good to do with the first time if you don't know the boss, and then after that you uh... don't bother with it because you don't need to know it twice. So can I just rest then? How do I, How does that work? Do I have to pay? That'll be a little bit annoying. Oh, five, okay. Oh, and I had a hundred. I thought it was telling me it was gonna be a hundred coins, and it said five, and then that was, that was how many coins I had. That's good to know. So, probably didn't need that, but I just wanna get those extra two hit points just in case, and I'm sure I'll get those coins back easy. Well, that takes a while. Okay, so I have Toad, looks like a female Toad, and uh, Toad's worth watching over me as I sleep. Interesting. <laughs> you were very annoying in Superstar Saga. Rat. Flavio, I am a traitor, the richest man. Congratulations. Whoops. Can I play darts? That's just cool. Okay, so this looks like a shop that I doubt I have any money for. Turf war between the pin pinata syndicate and the robos. Is that pinata or pianta? Okay, that's not pinata. Pianta syndicate and the robos heating up apparently. Best stay indoors. My brain keeps replacing words that aren't those actual words with those words. Okay. <laughs> I've been playing way too much Skyrim recently, so I almost thought I was in a 2D Skyrim in that house because I'm not used to that in Mario with garlic hanging off the wall. Not this way. They had the technology to make contact lenses in the Mushroom Kingdom. Okay, I'm not gonna move an inch. Do I actually not move or what? Ah. <laughs> you are worse than the guy in Ocarina of Time. All of our contact lens, which I'm not even sure truly exists. They even have credit cards? Okay, this must be a super advanced Mushroom Kingdom. It is Rogue Port, but I, you know what I mean. Okay, I'll find whoever stole your credit card. Maybe. Well, let's check the shop for a contact lens. Summons a scary spirit, sleepy sheep, 
Attacks all enemies with fireballs, tasty medicine, uh, stores 5 FP, and then 5 hit points. Will they really just have another contact, or do I have to go do something? <laughs> okay. So, how long is a while? Shop prizes, points. Gold bar. Those probably sell for a lot of gold. Alright, well, again, comparing to Superstar Saga, this reminds me of the uh, Woohoo Mountain, and you had to wait, you had to go talk to all the villagers before they would finish making the bridge. So I wonder if that's what this deal is about. Okay, this is a messy room. Hey, are these the cockroaches from Animal Crossing? The flies from... Hopefully not a dead body. Okay. Oh, star piece. Neato. Whoops. Ah. So, can't smash the cockroach. Can't catch the flies. What do you want, Hardy Yoshi? Okay, gambling addict. Nice to meet you. Well, this really is a trashy town, isn't it? Okay, now that's probably the reason you're wanted. You're not a very good thief when you tell everybody you meet that you're a thief. Okay, what do you have to say? Probably have to go talk to him before I can get that contact. Okay, let's go see the crazy Goomba. What the heck was that? Hey, don't pester the egg stealer from Spyro, come on. Oh. Oh. That is unfortunate. Shine sprites. What is this? Why didn't you foresee that I had no shine sprites? Well, let's see if there's a way around. Oh, here's the Professor Goomba. Eliza Goom. I need to name my kid that if I ever have kids.
So, where is this legendary door then? Okay. Ah. Oh, the pipes. I remember in the first one, I didn't know that you could use pipes to warp places, so I was walking everywhere and it took forever. Then I discovered the pipes. But you also had to destroy this big giant squid and it was actually kind of hard. Ah, uh, yes I do. I mean, I'm sure I'll figure it out if I don't. Okay. Well, let's go down. 